Hi, welcome to Tom Sake, Take It Back Tuesday. Beautiful day here in mid-Michigan, here on the north side of Lansing. Site of the old Dean and Harris Ford right here. It was the corner of Cedar and Grand River, now known as Cesar Chavez. Right here was a Ford dealership. Dean and Harris, 1923, about 1964, and then became Jack Dykstra Ford soon after. I think they moved in the late 60s out on MLK did Jack Dykstra Ford. Two Ford dealerships in Lansing were in the town at that time, here in North Lansing, Dean and Harris, and then Max Curtis Ford over on East Michigan Avenue on the east side of Lansing. The Curtis family, good friends of our family, uh, two big Ford dealerships right here in the town. Now, unfortunately, they're outside of town if you're from Lans Lansing. You're on, you gotta go to Okemos, you know, Campus Ford way out there. And if you were going on the west side, you got a Grand Ledge Ford. Isn't that the only other Ford dealership? Have you driven a Ford lately? That was the, the motto back in Ford in the 60s. I always wanted, driving down here from up north, we always pass this dealership. But Dan, I want a Ford Country Squire, you know, that wood looking, uh, fake obviously, side paneling on the station wagon. Why the station wagon? Still, we had a boring Buick Electra 225 sedan. But hey, we were a Buick family and uh, you're either you're either GM family or, or a Ford family growing back up back then. And uh, anyway, this is a really good dealership, a, a lot of history. I always liked the Ford Country Squire. I'd see it on the TV show Hazel. George Baxter drove uh, Country Squire and Hazel drove the Mustang, that 64 Mustang, 64 and a half Mustang that came out in the mid 60s. That was so cool as well. The Ford Mustang with that 289, woo! Now that was a vehicle, baby. You still see them around town. Anyway, I hope your Tuesday is absolutely terrific. We'll see you next time on Thursday for another Tom's Take.